Today's story is Green Pants, written and illustrated by Kenneth Craigle. And if you've ever had a special piece of clothing that you just love to wear, then you'll understand today's protagonist. That means the main character. I love looking at the illustrations. You can tell something already about this main character by looking at what's in their closet. What is in this person's closet? Jameson only ever wore green pants. When he wore green pants, he could do anything. He could dunk. He could dive. And he could dance. Sometimes people tried to get Jameson to wear pants of a different color. But one way or another, Jameson made sure they didn't end up in his closet. I'm sure you saw the illustration where Jameson was throwing his pants out the window. But do you see in this illustration where else his pants have ended up? I wonder who those two are. One day, Jameson's cousin, Armando, came by with his fiancée, Joe. Joe had the nicest smile Jameson had ever seen, and her eyes seemed to sparkle like the autumn sun shining upon a running river. Hey, Jameson, we have a question for you, Armando said. Would you like to be in our wedding? Joe asked. Absolutely. Jameson replied, staring deeply into Joe's bright eyes. The next morning, Jameson's mother said, You know, being in a wedding is a big deal. There will be a lot of standing. No problem, Jameson said. And you'll have to smile nicely for all the photos. No problem. And you'll have to use your best manners at dinner. No problem. And one more thing, his mother said slowly. You will have to wear a tuxedo. Okay, Jameson nodded. No problem. Jameson, the tuxedo will be black. What? Jameson gasped. Black pants? Black? Are you sure? Yes, I'm afraid so. Do you think Jameson will still want to be in his cousin's wedding? At the tuxedo fitting, Jameson rejected every pair of black pants that he was given to try. But he was quite impressed with how striking his green pants looked with the rest of the tuxedo. His mother, however, remained firm. If you want to be in the wedding, you'll have to wear black pants. Oh, I do wonder what Jameson will decide. Don't you? The day of the wedding came, and Jameson still hadn't made up his mind. I'm sorry you have to choose his mom said, but I'm afraid you must. But how? Jameson cried. It's impossible. But all too soon, it was time. Okay, Jameson, his mother said moments before the wedding began. This is it. Have you decided? No. Well, it is a tough decision, but I know you can figure it out. She kissed his forehead and went inside. Jameson sank in despair. 
But how? How? How do I make such a decision? Ah! Poor Jameson. What do you think he's going to decide? Just then, Joe appeared. Her hair played happily in the sunny breeze. Her eyes shone like the summer stars, and her smile warmed his very soul. Hey, Jameson, I'm so glad you're here. I'll see you inside. And as quickly as she'd appeared, she was gone. Joe's soft, sweet voice lingered in the air, and in that golden moment, Jameson's choice became clear. What do you think it's going to be? The wedding began, and Jameson appeared, right on cue, looking quite dashing in his tuxedo. During the ceremony, Jameson stood very still. Afterward, he posed for every picture with perfect charm and grace. At dinner, he was pleasant and courteous, and his manners were impeccable. But the moment the dance music began... Oh my goodness, I wonder what's going to happen next. A pair of black pants fell to the floor. And Jameson danced like no one has ever danced before. I hope you enjoyed this story. I love Jameson's decision to wear the black pants, but how wonderful that he had the green pants underneath the whole time. The author dedicated this book to his parents. It says, For My Parents. But would you please look closely at that bird's nest? Do you see what I see? Behold the power of green pants.